The Silver Shroud lies in wait for justice. Well, that was a little less energetic than I expected. Thank you for that, Planty Mush. You <laughs> absolute embarrassment. Speaking of Planty Mush, in between episodes, I have planted an entire farm's worth of corn and mute fruit and delicious potatoes. Uh, and here's what I realized. You can actually assign your horrifying death bots to work on the farm. I think you'd be able to do that, given that you can build them. And I thought, you know, effectively unlimited settlers is kind of a... Uh, it seems like kind of a workaround, right? But nope, turns out that's the case. Would so, you like me to go with you? absolutely not. So Ada is uh, a tomato farmer now, which is very, very helpful. I've assigned everyone else basically to almost exclusively farm work, and then I've got uh, a lovely guy that turned up also working in the scrappery. So here we are in lovely sweet Fallout 4. So uh, before we head out, then. I've gone to Diamond City. I bought some shipments of adhesive, like I said at the end of the last episode. And we're going to quickly finish putting together the Shotgun of Justice. The actual real Shotgun of Justice this time. Not just a shotgun named Justice. Muzzle break. Yes, please. Um, let's throw a reflex sight on that one. And then let's go for the larger one if we can. But we leave that one to last just in case we didn't have enough adhesive. Um, ooh. I didn't put the full stock on it either. Did I not? Really? I guess we must have run out much earlier than I thought. There we are. That's a slightly better dispenser of justice, eh? Now, someone in the comments said, don't forget you can make better dog armor at the crafting station. I tried it, and I could not find any dog armor at all. Um, I went through every category. So unless we need, like, a higher rank of armor or something like that, I don't really know quite what we're supposed to be doing there. So uh, the other thing, right, that's it. The other thing we've got to do here is level up. So I saw a comment a while ago now, it was a couple of days ago, from somebody saying that you should probably level up Rifleman, because um, the game is expecting you to do far more damage than you actually do, which I think is probably not a bad call. Keep your distance only, your kill count higher, text with rifles do 20% more damage. I mean, if that's what we're going to go into, if that's the weapon we're going to kind of specialize in, so to speak, I think that's probably the right thing to go for. I mean, Medic... Tank build rather than DPS. Seems like we're going down that path anyway. But I feel like maybe spending some points now probably couldn't hurt. And we haven't got any, like, the important skills. We haven't got uh, science or anything like that or gun nut or anything, no. So, rank 4 gun mods. What is that? Level 39 and then science level 41. So, we're miles off that. Fine, let's go rifleman then. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you, commenter. Look at that. 14 intelligence and 13 perception. Good lord. you got to think about these things, my man. There we go. Now, that's a shotgun of justice right there. Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to have a look at was Hancock's... Hancock? What's his name? That, that fellow that we killed. Whatever. I know that doesn't, uh, hardly narrows it down. Um, Kellogg, Kellogg, Kellogg. That's right. I wanted to have a look at his gun and see if we can do something with that. What does it do? Refills your action points on a critical hit. That's like, really good. <laughs> I want to see if we can do something something fancy with that. I don't think this also needs much upgrading either. Put a reflex sight on it. Sure, why not? Gyro balance reflex scope. Level 5 of Gunslinger. Now, I won't use it too much, but I think it's kind of nice to have that third gun as an option just in case. of. It's got the cool factor, in my opinion. Um, let's put that on 1. Let's put that on 2. Let's put that on 3. Given that's the most long range, that helps me keep it all clear in my mind. Well, that's, that's good. I like that. Okay, that's good. Maybe we should put stim packs back on 1, actually, genius. Well done. Um, let's go 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. There we are. So, oh yeah, you know what? We should cook up some stim packs before we leave. Now, today we're not going to carry on with the main quest or anything like that because we've done a lot of main quests recently. Uh, instead, how many stim packs can we make here? Uh, medical, please. Uh, 39. Bloody hell. Okay. I'm going to make that many. However many we've just made there. Well, you know what? Let's round it up. There you go. Uh, let's make that many. And then we'll keep the rest just in case I need blood packs for something else like for example glowing blood packs because eventually we plan on going into the um well we have to right the glowing sea as part of the quest that feels very ridiculous <laughs> i'm not sure i like that so today we're going to go back to vault uh what is it called vault oh vault 81 that's it plenty more remembers because you've got 14 intelligence in uh 16 intelligence 14 perception or whatever it was he had 16 intelligence that couldn't have been right that's an enormous amount of intelligence. Good lord. And here we are. Because apparently, uh, from a comment I've seen, uh, from, from uh, a message that Planty Mush received on his pit boy, there might in fact be someone here who needs our help. So let's go have a peek. It's been a while since we've been back here. What was the last thing we did? We rescued a cat and we gave a blood sample to a doctor. And I think that was more or less it. So let's come see what's happening. 
probably with these Voltec bolts. Oh, hello. There's always some dark secret waiting to be discovered, and I'm not entirely sure. Nice pit boy. Uh huh. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. Do you not have a pit boy? I guess they didn't have enough to go around. She's got one. Got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. Why do some people have it and not others? Like the cleaner has a pit boy, but that fancy looking man with the science coat doesn't. I like that. You know what? I like that. It's not a meritocracy here. Yeah, all the vaults have a, a, a dark evil secret. I don't remember what this dark this vault is. It might not have a dark evil secret, to be fair. That was very unnecessary, Planty. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay, here we are. Uh, I'll be honest, I was expecting those doors to pop open and everyone's turned to feral ghouls. Uh, yeah. Hello, how you doing? You should see Dr. Forsythe. Ah. I heard he has a job for you. I was kind of, I was kind of waiting for something like that. Okay. Uh, Dr. Forsythe. Well, uh, where's, uh, Dr. Forsythe down here? Is this the, ah, oh, here it is. Uh, Dr. Forsythe. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can. What's happened? I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases. Or oh, no. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully, she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Oh, no. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. Bobby! What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found a secret room. door. I keep my private things in there. His drugs. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half room. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. There was this terminal there. So I started poking around in it. It's a bioweapons so facility, isn't it? Stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. Okay, maybe. They also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good Lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junky genius. There might be a cure <laughs> Could have just called him a genius. Rude lady. You there. Ah. Uh, How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's uh, life? I'm not sure. Oh, save his life. Do it for justice. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there... Is Austin the, the little boy that showed us around? To Dr. Forsythe and gave us the tour. Sake, please hurry. Follow me. Oh. I was going to say, he seemed to be running with a lot of urgency and didn't get very far. Hole in the wall. Find a cure. Onwards, Bobby. To justice. He's not... He's not as good as a sprinter as Plancy Mush, which is actually... Deeply surprising and very concerning for Bobby. You should lay off the chems, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. Where are we going? Ah. But why would people not clean this up? This is a damn reactor room. Oh. Hello. Fake wall? Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh thank you, Bobby. We're just gonna we're just gonna head on in there, huh? Old overseer's terminal. It's over here. Oh, hello, unlock master. Well, you are in luck because, um, okay, well, let's think about this. It's got to be discipline. Okay, it's not discipline. Monolithic. Is it? Is it the same as mastermind where it's got to be letters in the same place? Or is it, or is it just letters appearing in the word? It's got, it's got to be, it's got to be mastermind, right? Absolutely also has an in. Okay, um, lightness zero. Okay, so it could be monolithic. There you go. Uh, Hello. We're using someone you're acknowledging you're an authorized user or technician. Oh, so we can just find out what the hell is going on here. Prime Directive. Research infectious diseases and antibodies with particular attention paid heavy to mutations in a climate of heavy radiation. Clinical trials. Okay, so it's not a bioweapons lab. It's just... Th maybe they actually had noble intentions somewhat. You could argue all the vaults had noble intentions if you are um, you're a lunatic. Okay. Try rebooting the... Oh, you already got it. Piper, uh, you have superpowers too. This is another companion with superpowers. She can see through space and time. That's impressive stuff, you gotta admit. He knows how to choose his friends. She can see and hack a terminal from a floor away. It's not a very useful superpower, admittedly. Oh, hold on. This is the thing people warned me about a very, very long time ago. 
where they said, be careful not to get bit by the mole rats, otherwise it can irreversibly ruin your game. I am nothing if not cautious. You have nothing to fear with me or the silver shroud. I really should unmark that wood for search. Be careful, my eagle-eyed companion. Oh, God. I'm very scared. Especially given that we've got such a lot of endurance. So as far as I recall, the comment said something like, uh, if you're bitten, it gives you a permanent reduction to your maximum health, which for a planty mush with one intelligence could be... Sincerely very deadly. So we're not fucking around here. <laughs> she didn't need to take all those all those bullets out, but you know what? You know best. Okay. Just take it carefully here, for God's sake. Oh Lord. Oh, I hate this. I don't like I don't like the potential of ruining this entire playthrough from one quest. I mean obviously we could if it was a real problem, we could find a way around it, okay? But that's not the point. Let's, let's play as if everything is going to go horribly wrong. And there are no console commands. Jesus Christ. The unkillable Wolfie for justice. Maybe we swap back to that, uh, that rifle. Jesus, this thing never stops firing. Okay, I think we got it. You know, I, I think I'm hitting something. It's very hard to tell because we're not getting any, um... We're not getting any health bar pop-ups. <laughs> Do you think it's down? Oh, it's definitely not down. Okay. Just be careful. We don't need to stimpack quite yet. There you go, we're good. What a mess. Credit to the unkillable Woofty, though. You know what? Unkillable Woofty. Rise from your grave. Amazing. Good, isn't it? Look at all the blood. Wow. What a superpower squad you have. The eagle-eyed detective. The eagle-eyed journalist. And the unkillable Woofty. And then, of course, Planty Mush with strength in all the wrong places. Strength of brain, strength of backpack. But no strength of arm. Okay, just be careful of those damn mole rats. Let's stick to this. I feel like I can be a bit more reactive with a revolver than I can with... <laughs> a gamma rifle or a radium rifle or whatever the hell it was called. Okay. What was that? Pack of cigarettes. We'll take that just in case. Chessboard. Pulse mines. The robots are still active. That's very bizarre. On the plus side... Was that you? On the plus side, these vault residents are going to have plenty more places to... Oh, I thought that was a turret there. They're going to have plenty more places to live by the time we're done here, huh? Watch out for more rats. Okay, we've got some milk bottles. Lovely. They're not going to have any cutlery. But at least they'll have somewhere new to live. This is like, a, this is like prime real estate. Lavatory. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Oh, God. This is, this is a frightening quest. This is a frightening quest. You think this is safe? Okay, we're good. Hunting rifle. We'll take that. I need to get into that bit of picking up more stuff. Because it's quite rare that we actually do fill up our... Fill up our inventory fully with stuff. Um, yeah, let's 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 not bother with the protect pro pro, pro pro protect protectron. Let's not worry about that for now. We'll leave it to our lovely vault dweller friends. Okay. Maybe there's only one mole rat. Maybe that's it. Maybe we've already seen them all. I mean, I don't believe that for a second. But okay, here we go. Oh God. Is that a mole rat? I think it is a mole rat. I think it's also a dead mole rat. Uh. Okay. Slowly. Oh, it's so horrible. Carefully. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this. I don't want Planty Mush to be permanently kneecapped. They're coming from upstairs? Where are they coming from? Oh! Blue, we're not alone here. Oh no. I don't know if that counts. We didn't get a We didn't get a pop-up saying, you know, you've contracted rot joint. Or anything like that. But it did get a bite in. Does that count? 
Oh, Lord. Hold on. Is there a way I can find out? Uh, 172. What did we have earlier? We might have been on 182. We might have lost some health. If we have, so be it. It's cost of doing business, okay? I don't think that makes the game unplayable, so we're going we're gonna to roll with it. Surely it would notify us. I'm sure this whole thing is overblown, and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Oh! Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. No, I just don't know this what is I can do. What on earth? Do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just. Can I open fine. the door? You'll see. Can I open the door somehow? Hold on. Status occupied. Oh, interesting. So I can't crack it open. So they've been spied on all this time. Well, maybe they haven't been spied on because clearly there's no one here. So I presume these morats are the ones that woke up early. Okay. I think we're fine. Okay, research. Well, this is going to be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. A real nice hold. Make this about you. Don't you think about... So what is this? Depot. Depot observation station. The shop will become an important disease vector for spreading airborne class B2 viruses. Valuable for observing the effects of disease on social and economic relationships. Oh, Anyone wow. other than yourself? Monsters. Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her Oh, safety. dear. She's I feel like we shouldn't be listening to this. Idiot. Let's keep moving. I feel like it's none of, none of Planty's business, okay? Ooh, Nuka-Cola cherry. I'm sure that's in date and delicious. You hear that? That sounds like mole rats to you me. You and your staff are to make sure every resident remains oh, God. under stringent medical observation. Understood. Oh. But overseer. No buts. Are we this fine? The good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsyth. Yes. Okay, they're all so downstairs then. Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. I think the uh, revolver. Sorry, I was trying to listen to what they were saying there. I think the revolver is actually slightly better against the mole rats. So they're putting the vault on lockdown. Okay. There is definitely a mole rat down here somewhere. There you are. Be gone! For justice! You are not taking off any more health. We know we're at 172, so we can we can track it from there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I'm panicking now. <laughs> I'm panicking now. No, but I am. Okay. Okay, we're all fine. We're all fine. It's, it's okay. Give me those plasma mines. Don't know why someone would have plasma lines in a locker in a research lab, but what do I know? Probably to fight uh, these frightening mole rats. What have you got for me? First aid kit. Oh, God. There's clearly another underground that hasn't spawned in yet, but okay, we're fine. Or it has spawned in, but hasn't popped up quite yet. Ooh. Strange, they built this whole section of the vault and didn't include any medical equipment. Wonder why they would do such a thing. Hey, Where are they? Out there. Oh! Bad shot. Bad shot. Okay, here it is, here it is. Guess we scared them off. And I think they might be upstairs. Jesus, this is horrible. Who came up with this quest? Todd? What a mess. Oh, what well, a bad shot. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! 172. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. I wonder what determines whether or not it takes off the health then. How bizarre. Is this where they were keeping the mole rats? Mole rat storage? What does that say? Potable water. Is that the name of the, is that the, name of the mole rat? It's my new room world name right there. Potable water. Write that one down. Safe. Hello there. Ah, oh. this game gives you an awful lot of bobby pins, doesn't it? I'm just noticing that. Jesus, a tremendous amount. That used to be a real struggle back in the day, but this is just like no problem at all. Ninety nine plus. I feel like you, you barely find uh, as much locked stuff in this game as you did in previous entries, but 
Maybe that's because I leveled up lockpicking a lot sooner and you can auto pick them in this. Okay. Secure access terminal. Auto hack. Kapow. Low door control. Open door. Probably a little unnecessary, but we'll... Ah! Okay, we found another level. Let's finish off this one first. See what else we can find. Oh, yeah. You know what? I get the feeling I know where the mole rats came from. They broke down a solid steel gate. Hey. That'll be that then, huh? Hey, they're here. Uh, yeah, so they are. Who, who are you shooting at? Are you shooting the one in front? If you're bitten by those, I assume that's a bad day. Jesus, that was close. Good lord, that was close. We'll keep an eye on our health in a second. Oh! How many shots does it take to kill this damn thing? Good lord. This feels like a bit more of a Silver Shroudy style gun, you know? Using a previous gun of injustice. This is the same gun, when you think about it, that killed his wife. Using this gun for justice seems quite apt. Seems quite apt in a way, you know? Everybody loves a good redemption up. Vault 81 tech password. I almost wish we hadn't picked that up so we could do I some hacking, but it might. Okay, right away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What does that lead to? I guess that's a bit that's caved in. We've got to go around. I understand. Okay, let's have a look then. Uh, testing one, two, three. Testing. Dr. Oliviette, do you copy? I do, Kenneth. Everything good over there. There's just another day, right? There's just another drill there, right? It is, and thank God for that. Okay. Uh, where is everyone? Obviously, there are three of us over here. What's going on? Olivette, are you getting this? Sorry, Kevin. It's been a madhouse on this side. Only three. Myself, Jim Flint, and that kid, Borra. Where's everyone else? And all over here, residents being admitted. They start showing up in droves once the news started broadcasting. Same way I heard. Do you think Voltec would have give us enough warning to at least a base drill for staff this morning? Something must have gone wrong. Phase one trial. Pretty limited down here, but we focused on antibiotics and have our first trials underway. So they did actually successfully manage to start working on people. Phase two. Borough got pretty sick after a day or two. Don't ask. Flint's been looking into it. Suckers are big to begin with, and we think it's genetic. Tamper with something like that. I think vault Tech, something. Uh, next page. I think vault Tech. We all think vault Tech, really. Please answer. Doctor, please get in touch. I know what you've done. Honestly, I don't blame you. Performing the phase through trial and non-centered humans is a breach on ethics, at least according to the world we used to live in. I can keep Borough together for a while, but Flint's already suspicious. What are we supposed to do over here? I can only lie to them for so long without some actual response. Damn it, Olivia. You can't be such a hypocrite. You condemn us to die in the name of your personal sense of morality. Uh, I know your politics, but I never thought you'd actually leave men for dead. Please consider this. Okay. So, again, I read uh, maybe uh, one hundredth of everything on that. Piecing it together very briefly. Seemed like an actual moral doctor overthrew the whole thing. Well, that's rare. It's a nice twist. Oh, look. Oh, God. They were buried here. Oh, well, this is scary. Uh-huh. Oh, no, they were buried here. Okay, and then we've got a little little thing in there, and that's where we're supposed to go. Hello! There's a, there's a robot in there. Is it friendly robot? We've got an elevator. Okay. Let's go see the friendly robot. Ah, uh, greetings, it is I. Oh, another stranger. Are you vault security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Oh no, it's another Mr. Handy. <laughs> uh, 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 yes, I am security. Superb. I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm authorized. You are re re released? Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. That's another one of those hyper-exaggerated European accents. My favorite. Do you intend to just uh, uh, sorry, I had some uh, business to attend to. Uh, ooh, medicine bubble head, you say? Stimpaks probably heal 10% more damage. My god. So can you get, like, full health from a Stimpak with that bubble head plus the higher levels of perks? 
Good lord. That's real good. That's, uh, that's pretty insane, actually. Okay, I mean, we've clearly got something in there that we're going to have a peek at. What is that? Curie's Terminal. Okay. Why? Do, how? How? I suppose you could probably use that little grippy claw thing. As I was saying, uh -huh. since you are a Voltec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. Oh. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. Okay. There it is. The Vault's 81 cure. To stop what oh, it's curly just a stim pack. To stop whatever is wrong with that sweet little boy. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. Uh thank you for the cure. Ah, uh, thank you for the justice you have provided. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Mm-hmm. <gasps> I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can uh, spend much time around that particular character. I'm afraid. Oh God, the the accents are so torturous in this game. Oh my God. Should introduce it to that uh, Mr. Handy at the bar. Uh, are we? We're just gonna wait for them. I presume this is the way out. Ah, uh, ex excuse me. Would you? Ah. Uh, uh. Oh god, the unkillable dog! Well, if there's anyone who's going to be bisected by a lift door, that's probably the right one. We must oh. the professors at the university. They could Still bisected. That's great attention to game detail right there. If your dog gets cut in half by a lift door, it will remain cut in half. Oh no, only one of her legs survived. She's a monopod dog now. Wow, look at that. That's incredible attention to detail, Todd. Oh, no, she's growing back. It must be the curative properties of Vault 81. Really such good attention to detail. Okay, here we are. And then, oh, just requires a terminal key. Okay, here we go. Uh, hacker voice. I'm in. Oh, they never once considered this door suspicious remotely? No? Stay safe, sir. Is anybody going to say, who's that enormous robot following around? Someday, I'll make it out there. You could go out now, the door's open. People really lasted 200 years inside these tin cans? I would have gone batty. Mm-hmm. Doesn't really translate well across the um, Atlantic, but that's okay. Watch out for the maintenance. It never ends around here. There's nobody. I, I suppose, to be fair, there's a good reason they're probably not commenting on. Their maid's got talent. Probably a good reason they're not commenting on Curie, given that uh, we've been followed into this vault by much stranger things. <laughs> you know, like a bisected, unkillable dog and an enormous, strong man. You smell of AC music or something. This is incredibly awkward. Oh, do you ever feel watched? Oh, yeah. Okay, quickly. Oh, oh I hate uh, the overseer window is so good. Such a great placement. Slightly shadowed too. Really makes him feel. Uh, really does make them feel like a uh, like an overseer. It's a really great word there. Literally and physically. It's like they did that for a reason. Wow. Uh, uh, Dr. Jacob Forsyth. The cure. You found it. I made the cure. <laughs> I found the cure. Uh, let him die. I'm keeping it. No. Oh, come on. He would never do that. Give him half. I'll take the other half. Absolutely not. Yeah, uh, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. But we, we weren't bitten, were we? Oh, we got two perks, by the way. Um, 175. We've lost one health point? 170, what are we at? 172, we've gained three health points? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. It's probably where we leveled up. Oh, there's the boy. Oh, I thought they'd have him in quarantine. They've just got him sat on a fucking bed in the middle of the room. Do you people know nothing? It shouldn't be long. Okay, how, based on what? What do you, how do you know? Where, where am I? Based on what? You were really sick. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved it's your life. fucking Christ is really? terrible. Jesus, I was worried to death about you, Austin. <laughs> what got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see who's in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. 
I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the syringe. I, I had it for years and never really had a use. I don't, I don't really She's need that. Oh, th thank you. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. I hope you enjoy your accommodation. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. Oh. You've opened a lot of eyes around here. Oh, oh. Including my own. Thank you. I had no idea of the dangers Vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. Ah. Uh, whatever Vault Tech was planning had failed, but it took their entire staff out with them. No arguments here. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here, and I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider <laughs> would help serve as a reminder that the commonwealth isn't something oh, to fear dear. and avoid. Uh huh. Thank you. I, I truly am the commonwealth savior, aren't I? Coming from a distant land to finally open the eyes of your backwards, ignorant people. It's a good job you've got me around. Uh, look. Oh, as always, the, the, the immersive environmental storytelling is a much more appealing part of Fallout. Because the writing really isn't there, is it? Here, here a stranger. Hand me that cure that you found in the walls of our vault mysteriously. I'll inject it in this kid. What have we got to lose? It just... Oh, God. No scientific principle. Uh, a moment, please. Oh. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life oh, has yeah. been in this spot. Hello. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists. Unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. Ah. Uh, 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 after everything that happened, the Commonwealth is lacking in the science department. That would be his big concern, because of course he's got 16 intelligence or whatever he's at. But surely there is still men of learning out there. And if nothing else, there is data. I can see you already have company. I do not wish to intrude. But I must ask. Please, monsieur, can you take me with you? Ah, uh, very well. Excellent. We must embark at once. I suppose we'll take her with us. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't know how much I can listen to that voice. It might drive me a little insane. Oh, Lord. And here we are. Vault complete. Yeah, I mean, obviously... The real writing in that quest, the story and everything, is from the actual vault Tech stuff. The unethical experiments that you find out along the terminal, etc., etc. Of course, I try not to linger too much on the massive amounts of reading uh, for for any sort of playthrough, because it's not the most entertaining uh, stuff. But the that. Dangers of curiosity. Lucky for Austin, he does appear to have nine The lives. dangers of curiosity, motherfucker! You injected him with a mysterious strange a man in a fancy dress costume gave you from the wall. Good lord, man. <laughs> I <laughs> just... Oh, God. All they needed to do was just be like, we're going to run some analysis on this sample. Just Come back in 24 analysis. hours. And then I'd have been like, you know what? God damn you. That's fine. Even if I had to sit there and press T and wait for 24 hours, I'd have been more forgiving. That was a, a, a lunacy. <laughs> Total madman. Where's Piper? She should be able to come... Oh, I was going to say, she should be able to come along with us. So, um, let's put the robot, and we're not, we're not done with our adventures with Piper yet. Let's put, let's put the robot. Uh, uh, excuse me, are you adept at farming mute fruit? Because, boy, do I have a job for you. Yeah. Katie Finn is the teacher. I'm going to run some tests on this cure. On this, on this cure. You know, you gotta, you gotta put that, you gotta put the quotation marks around that this cure that you found in the mysterious second vault that we've only just learned about. This unethical, mysterious vault from some robot that's apparently been active there for the last 200 years. Come back, come back in a moment. And you can't even come up with the argument of, oh, well, that's, you know, that would slow down the gameplay. They, they, they wanted a faster pacing. They don't want you waiting for it. You had to wait 24 hours between giving the first blood sample and now for that quest to become active. So clearly that wasn't a concern. Monstrous. Totally bizarre. <laughs> ah, but that's okay. You know what? We've got another companion. We've got another companion. See, okay. 
whenever we come to this place, there's always a fight happening here. Always a fight, no matter what. This time, apparently, it's a Yao Guai fighting a enormous mutant dog. Justice! Be gone! Yao Guai. Oh, it's a raider! Justice will be served! Silver Shroud! That never gets old. I thought I was saving these people from an attacking bear, and I was, but it turned out... Oh, look, Strong came out to come and fight as well. Mutant hound me. So, hang on, it was super mutants fighting raiders, fighting a bear? This is the worst place to build a settlement for people. Or maybe arguably the best place, because clearly, clearly this area is dangerous and they need a sanctuary. We're like an oasis. An oasis in a bear-filled desert. Wow. Okay, let's put the robot to work on the tomato farm. And then, uh, again, I need to, I need to, we need to keep understanding the character of Piper to see if she can join our, of course, eventually she will, join our team of unstoppables. She's already said a lot of, a lot of very convincing things, a lot of very believable things. She's clearly uh, justice focused, given the backstory we found out about her character. Is she ready quite yet to don the inspector's outfit? I'm not sure. Uh, start a conversation. Yes. Uh, I think it's time we call it quits. I look forward to resuming our journey. And I want to send you to last set location, which is here. And then let's get you to uh, command to work on the tomato farm. <laughs> Along with all my other death bots. <laughs> Say robot walls, but with farming. Good lord, what a, what a great DLC, huh? Can it automate my corn production? Is there anything else we really need to do here? Um, honestly, I feel like it's a little bit early to be wrapping things up. We've had a couple of short episodes, and I feel like we should we should try and do a little bit more. So level 31. Honestly, I feel like we go into... I like the quick draw effects. I'm not going to lie. I'm never going to use that. Pistols do 20% more damage. Honestly, I kind of wish we'd have gone into that, but I, I think it suits the... Not only did the Silver Shroud, of course, use... Oh, no, okay. It would have been worth, worth for some machine gun, right? Because he uses... Uses that Tommy gun. Honestly, I think we're going to stick with Rifleman. And then I think... Ooh, ignore 20% of target's armor. Hello there. I like the pistol. I do. But that's me saying that, not the Silver Shroud. So I feel like I need to uh, reassess things a little bit. Um, plus three to intelligence and perception. Right. I understand where all that extra perception is coming from now. Let's go into Rifleman then. I feel like that's the right play. I, and, and I mean, again, this, was, this came from someone in the comment section last time. So blame them if this is uh, absolutely an incorrect way to go about things. Uh, excuse me, my detective companion journalist uh, investigator friend. Uh, I would like you to take for something specific? this weapon and use it for justice. That's right. It's the weapon that killed his wife. Uh, equip. Boom. I like that. Give me that plasma pistol. Have you got anything else? Have I given you a bunch of stuff? Here, you can wear that, right? Like, oh, uh, you know what? Let's actually give her some armor. Or is she ready? What do you think? Do you think we, we, could, we could put her on a trial run? Let's just see how it looks. My companion, you have shown a great deal of respect for justice. What you got for and me? I would like to present to you this, uh, this very outfit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> she can wear it with armor. Oh, that's cool. She might look ridiculous. Maybe I prefer to just, just wear the, um... To just wear the, the the silly outfit, but okay, hold on a second. Well, not silly, obviously. I, obviously, we don't think that's silly. Um, you know what? Let me cook a second. Here. No. Oh, we can customize Curie. Oh, that's bizarre. Let's I don't like away. that idea. Um, probably have something you can use. This is amazing. I'm actually so on board with it. You know what? You deserve this. You deserve this. Is for you now. Um, give me that back because that looks odd. You can keep the the the, the leg because that doesn't show up. Doesn't show up very well. It just looks like you've got very long boots that you've kind of tried to tuck your trousers into. That's fine. It's lucky armor, so I don't think it actually does anything for her at all. Might maybe increase the chance of critical hits or something like that. Um, let's break some of this garbage down. You know what? I think, honestly, she proved herself after that discussion yesterday where she talked about, you know, her, her father and her uh, exposing corruption in their town. I think that's fine. You are now the inspector. My God, 
What a squad. Where's, where's, uh, where's our enormous unnamed strong friend? Because between them, we got ourselves a hell of a squad. Is he actually asleep in one of the beds? Oh, Lord. This is great. No, come over here. We need to pose for a squad photo. She's not coming over. It doesn't really matter too much. It doesn't really matter too much, okay? I'm happy with that, though. I think I think that's great. I, I think that's fine. It's a, it's a good change of pace. What gun does the inspector use in law? I'm not sure. Probably not Kellogg's revolver, but... Then again, neither does the Silver Shroud use a shotgun. And again, we're not... We're not we're not trying to be those people. We're, we're a new take on on a on a we're, we're we're the new generation of justice justice givers. Let's see if we've got any side quests to do then. Let's see if we've got any other other things here. Um, support the Brotherhood Recon team. I suppose it's a little relevant now. Tune into the Mysterious Signal. Now I think this is our DLC thing. Um, if we go back to Red Rocket and tune into it there. It's for uh, sorry, not DLC. It's a modded thing that lets us do something with implants. I think so. It's not really a big deal. Um. Follow the freedom trail. Destroy the rogue robots. We could always give that a go briefly. See how this rifle holds up, especially with the armor penetration. There's a military frequency. AF95 is obviously for the Brotherhood, um, which maybe we'll think about. We might not want to do anything else with the Brotherhood, to be fair. And then what else have we got here? Check the detective cases. We've covered nuclear material from Hyde Park. Talk to Bobby, whoever that is. Talk to Sturges and McCready. Investigate the Museum of Witchcraft. Let's also put that on the list. Fun little side, side activity there. Okay. Um, is that the Museum of Witchcraft over there? Oh, destroy the rogue robots. Bloody hell. Oh, and they're kind of close together. We'll kill two robots with one shotgun of justice. Probably shouldn't go on too long today. This is going to be some mad hour and a half romp, but I want to type some loose ends here. Uh, because I started losing my voice yesterday. Which is why I wasn't able to get Rim Rim done, because I was already... Oh, there's Super Mutants. Super Mutants back over there, oh, for God's sake. Um... So maybe we won't go on too long. Certainly not forever. Oh, wow. This is absolutely shredding them now. <coughs> Remember how much trouble we had with this place back in the day? Holy shit, though. If he can hit us, we can hit him. There. Maybe we shouldn't be fighting all these super mutants, but you know what? Oh, mutant hound. Hold on. We've started now, so we'll bloody finish. Let's wrap this up quickly. Be gone! This is a little bit of personal justice. Holy shit, this is a game changer. Look at this gun now, my god. And look at how much ammo we've got for this gun too, more importantly. Be gone! Very well, mutants. You leave me no choice. I shall dispense justice. Be gone! Be gone! Ah! Oh! <coughs> is it still gonna blow up? Uh, stim pack though? Hello? Did I not reassign the stim packs? Oh dear. Okay, hold on. One second, please. Uh, uh, eight. Here we are. <laughs> I was gonna say, we've definitely got stim packs. Restore 66 HP a go now. Bloody hell, that's like really, really good. I could have probably got away with using it a little bit later than that, but simultaneously, I mean... This is insane. Like, this is so good. Oh my god. I mean, I wanted to test the gun to see if this perk made a big difference. I think we can say... Without a shadow of a doubt, this is an enormous improvement. This is a ridiculous improvement. Holy shit, though. Oh, glue. Hello. That's insane. What are all these things marked on the map? Also seems to be like a dozen different map markers now. Oh, look. Oh, there are the robots. Right, I understand. I understand. Sorry. Because we've already found all the rare stuff here. Right, so we've got to go somewhere in this direction to find the robots anyway. So I guess it kind of works out. Yeah, that's, um... That's insane. That's absolutely ridiculous. Are they are they just, like, right here? Oh, no. They're bloody miles away. Okay. Well, we might as well have a look to see what's over here. Given that we're in the area. There's definitely something here, though. Weird. Oh, this rifle is a total game changer. You know what? I kind of like it. Because... Planty Mush is a sciencey boy, right? Hello? Are you friendly? Mr. Handy. Uh. Hello, Eugene. Your brother Malcolm has prepared a surprise for you. I'm not. Oh. I hope Eugene and Malcolm are on good terms. <laughs> there is something over there. Though, look. Maybe, maybe it's a birthday present. Oh. What is it? <gasps> birthday present. Oh. Well, this is bizarre. Tesla science. 
Energy weapons inflict 5% critical damage. What I was going to say is, of course, Plancy Mush is a sciencey boy. Silver Shroud had a submachine gun. So this gun is almost kind of a meat in the middle. Oh, thank you. Oh. And now they've turned evil. Oh, I guess they weren't on good terms. No. Eugene. What happened to sweet Eugene? Happy birthday, sweet roll. I thought it had worms in it, but it hasn't got worms in it. It's got candles. Is that still edible? Gives 20 HP, so I assume so. Maybe they baked it fresh. Wow, we are really on a... <laughs> really on a bizarre adventure. Take your shoes off in here? What are you saying? Lunatic. I don't like this. This is a very un deeply unnerving, isn't it? Malcolm's Terminal. Oh, we could find out what's going on. I guess these folks just couldn't get along. Oh, there we are. Ah, the inspector. Okay, let's have a look at this terminal then. See what this is all about. Ah, boom. It's time for our birthday tomorrow. Eugene wants to bury the hatchet and I might bury it in his back. I know a little trick with the robot security protocols. I make a nice birthday gift for the bastard. They'll never see it coming. We read the first one. But family stitched together through thick and thin. We got a lot of words, so I need a cup of coffee. We must go north. That chicken shit start leaving little notes everywhere instead. Instead of talking to me. Ah, uh, okay. So it was just a falling out. A petty falling out that went a little bit too far. Say, can we get up here? Is that like loot or something? No? I thought that was intentionally placed in such a way we'd be able to get up there and get the loot. Never mind. Right. Well, that was um, <laughs> an unintentional side journey. What is that glowing there? Weird. Okay. Sorry, let's carry on. Let's carry on with hunting down these robots briefly. I feel like this has been a great test of the gun already. We, we don't definitely don't need to carry on, but this is good. This this feels feels mighty and strong. The pistol was good. Don't get me wrong. Two shots to take out those mole rats, though, were getting... um, It was a, it was a little bizarre. Let's head over. So I put a little map marker for kind of the middle point between the um, Museum of Witchcraft and... Yes, that's correct. And um, the other place. The robots. Is it quite far? Oh, no. What? Oh! Oh! Face justice! Watch out for the crabs. Oh, hello. Some sort of rare item. Give some point here. It's absolutely loaded with crabs. Astoundingly awesome tales number 15. 5% less damage from my alerts. Ah, oh, very good. Very clever. We'll be taking that if you don't mind. It's okay. They can deal with it. They can deal with it. Don't panic. Ooh, do you see all of that? Oh my god. It's a lot of stuff. Inspector, stand back. The radiation of justice. <laughs> we need to work on that name. Stand firm, unkillable woofty. We've got enough stim packs now that I feel like I can justify uh, helping the dog when it's screaming in pain. Okay, this seems really good. I presume the armor penetration works against my alerts, kind of like how you expected to work against my alerts, right? Can we climb over here? Oh, dear. Uh, well, I'm gonna gonna give it a go. Oh, is it one way? Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Uh, oh, great work. Great work, Silver Shroud. Finally, some robots. <laughs> Roundabout quest. Holy shit. Hold on. Let's go get some... Oh, what the hell is happening over there? What is going on here? Oh, it's one of those... Um, Yes, it's one of those iBots. Right, cool. Uh, scan for components. Find me adhesive, please. By all means. Wait for the iBots to locate adhesive. Okay, and then we come back and we just... We just pick it up. Really, I probably should be putting down some sort of map marker to come and help find this again, but that's okay. Let's get this on the map, because this place is a real pain in the ass to physically get over to. Is that like a bug? No, I'm not bothered about a single bug. Okay, let's take out these bloody robots fast then, huh? Something coming up as we're crossing the bridge. What are they? Gunners? They're enemies, right? Gunners are enemies, right? Ah, uh, it is I. The Silver Shroud! Ow! Oh. Okay, watch this. Boom. 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 Okay, that wasn't... That wasn't as impressive as I expected. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! 
Okay, you know what? Forget that. Friendship ended with that. Good lord. I saw that. I, uh, scouter looking thing he had. Right, they had those very, very fancy overpowered guns. What's laser pistol on the other? There's no wonder we were getting shredded there. Um, yeah, I saw that fancy scouter looking thing he had. I didn't think we could actually loot that though. Hold on, this looks amazing. What is it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Chinese optics prototype green. We have to take off our glasses. No. Does it look cool though? Oh, it does. Oh my God, it does look cool. Oh my God, is this? Uh, and I mean, also, he's planty mush. He does love a good bit of technology. Is that an enormous smile like out there? What the hell is that? He does have a good bit of technology. Making up for his poor eyesight with some sort of fancy uh, uh, optics that gives extra perception seems pretty on brand to me. Okay, well, we'll stick with it and we'll see how it goes. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a robot. Jesus. I thought it was an alien. Amazing. Oh, this is such a game changer. Great suggestion on the uh, Rifleman perk. Great suggestion. Okay. Now this, if I'm not mistaken, is, is part of the Brotherhood of Steel quest, right? Or, or somewhere over here is, is that Brotherhood of the Steel quest where you go and siege the super mutants in a vertebrate. Yeah, I mean, I was about to... Yeah, I, I'm going to assume this is it. If I'm not mistaken, there's a behemoth over here. Which might be why that just exploded. Oh, it's, it's raiders. It's raiders. Okay. Right. Let's be very, very careful. Legendary raider. Where? Loot for justice. Justice! Amazing. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Okay, here we go. We're going to help out. Even though, look, even though we're not necessarily going hard on the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, it was a legendary rabid mongrel fighting a legendary raider. Whoa. Even though we're probably not going to go too hard on the Brotherhood of Steel. I think I just called them the Brotherhood of Justice, okay? There's a lot going on right now. We'll still help them fighting, uh... Oh god, and here are the Rust Devils too. Wow, this is a real war zone over here, isn't it? Whoa! Good jump. Maybe another stim pack, because that seems a little... A little bit of a dangerous area. Probably stand away from that a little bit. What's I talking about? Yeah, no, I, f I feel like we, we need to assess the Brotherhood's motives. I feel like we need to give Planty Mush a reason to trust them. Or maybe more likely not trust them. And defuse that. What, what, exploded in a enormous explosion? Yeah, no shit. Oh dear, that one's about to go up too. The Sheriff's Department. Call me the sheriff because I am here to dispense uh, justice. I feel like it's already been done. Oh, I wonder if they're going to complete the quest for us. <laughs> Far away from the actual robots themselves, are we? Right. Okay, we're on the other side of the island, but that's fine. Sorry, there's going to be a lot of um, probably a lot of combat here. Legendary Rust Devil. Wow. Okay. Now you pay for it. The inspector's going in. What are those up there? <gasps> no, they're shooting at that silver shroud picture. Do oh, you think we've already made a big enemy of these of these people? Oh, I need to remember to leave the calling card. That's okay. That's okay. Not a, not a major loss. We'll leave it on this legendary Rust Devil, though. Re <coughs> really, really hammer the point home. For justice! <laughs> Ooh! Synth... Armor, right arm of leadership, charisma, and intelligence. Thank you. Speaking of uh, Stimpak, if you don't mind. Oh, we're over encumbered. God damn me. Uh, yeah, drop that drop that mining hammer. I don't think we need that too much. What other junk have we picked up here? Pompadour wig, bowler hat, chef hat. My name is Chef Hat. I don't think we need that. Um, what do we got over here? Baseball bat. Assault rifle. I wanted to have a look and see what we could do with the assault rifle. I presume it's only ever going to be automatic, though, so that's not me. Let's drop that pistol as well. Right, we're good. Boy, you know we're in deep for the combat when the music's still still playing. Was that the vertebrate going up? Well, that wasn't me for a change. So I guess we're going in that direction. Oh, I'm, I'm going further and further off, <laughs> off track here. Sorry, there's a lot of distractions going on, huh? There's still the occasional gunshot. Let's not worry about it. Let's focus on, let's focus on our quest. 
Justice needs dispensing. Let me try the shotgun of justice, because that also staggers. Could have been quite useful in that situation with the Assaultron. It's got the same bonuses applied to it, or at least someone said it does. If, if, if these don't count as rifles, it's not a big deal, I suppose, but we'll probably have to stop using the shotgun so frequently now that the now that the rifle is just so much better by comparison, right? Something over here we should probably just ping. No, we'll get it on the way back. It's okay. As long as we can get something so we can fast travel back over here. Worst case scenario. Okay, here we go. Junk bot! Your days of criminal activity are at an end. Oh, well, that was that it? Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, that was, um... Easier than anticipated. What was that genuinely it? Okay, that's it. Quest, quest, quest complete. Dare I say it? Didn't pop up saying quest complete. Destroy the rogue robots. Maybe we just gotta wait a second. Oh, there it is. Completed rogue robot. Nice. We're very close to leveling up again. I wonder if we could just push up to that next level. And then I'll take suggestions for the next perk from the comments. But I'm more than happy to keep going into... Uh, more than happy to keep going into Rifleman. I think it's more than paid for itself. Let's go have a look at this church. Clearly marked for a reason. Ghouls? I'd fill a church with ghouls. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh, I'm scared. Church is inherently creepier post-apocalypse than any other building. You can't argue with it. Missile launcher. Oh, over-encumbered. Yes, no, you're probably right there. <laughs> if you noticed uh, five minutes ago, I say, oh, we need to pick more stuff up. I don't pick up enough stuff. Has coincided with being constantly over-encumbered. Oh, for God's sake, come back. I need to give you something a little woofty. Yeah, this is... No, please. Just work with me here, game. Okay. Um, oh, the dog's full up. Inspector. Point the way. This is for you. The uh, she's she's fine. She can take a lot of stuff here. Take this. Take this. Can I tell her to equip the mouthful of justice? Oh, no, let's keep it with Kellogg's pistol. Actually, what does the best damage? It'd be nice if she was a bit more useful. Okay. Let's give her the let's give her the mouthful of justice. Not like that. Um, or we could tell her to equip the missile launcher of justice. Frightening. Oh, no, I gave him my, my rifle. I, that's my rifle. No, 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 no. Sorry, I've got my... It's a problem having every fucking gun, some sort of variant of justice. No, no, no. Give me that back. You take justice, the shotgun. I will take mouthful of justice, the rifle. Can they use missile launchers? We're not going to find out. Politely. I'm not here to find out. Maybe not the right idea having just a single weapon type, but hey. There's got to be something in this church, right? They wouldn't make it a marked location without any good stuff. Oh, God, those stairs are steep, aren't they? Uh, nothing. Absolutely not a thing at all. Can we get down safely? People are saying Silver Shroud needs to be braver. He's been through a lot. And you know what? The Silver Shroud agrees. Okay. Uh, ah! Oh, that's fine. Right, so let's head over to uh, the Museum of Witchcraft. Have we got time today? I really should not be going too hard on <laughs> Fallout. <laughs> Must be resting my voice, but you know what? I just just love Planty Mush. I just love Planty Mush, and I like going on his little adventures. I like the exploration and the scavenging. Just just stumbling across stuff, I think, is um the better part of this game. I feel like a lot of the environments are far more carefully designed in this, comparatively. Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. There seems to be maybe a glowing one up there. Oh, no, it's a, it's, it's a glowing one, all right? It's a glowing uh, wardrobe. Never fear, the inspector. It's a clumsy name. There are always more enemies of justice. Oh! God, those are disgusting, aren't they? Those withered feral ghouls. We are so close to leveling up. Let's see it through. Is there a glowing one up here? Oh, Jesus. Frightening. Oh! That was a good stim pack. Be gone! Justice! Okay. That was getting a little dangerous. That was getting a little dangerous there for a second, but I think we're fine. The bureau. There's nothing in the bureau. We ought to have looted it. 
And there you are. Level 32. Well worth doing. Well worth doing. Croup bedroom key. Oh, interesting. Probably shouldn't have looted that, so we could have got the experience for um, picking the lock, but that's okay. I feel like there may be someone in there, you know? Get that strange impression. Uh, it is I. The silver shroud. That is a glowing one. Be gone! <laughs> oh, it's not dead! Oh, it is dead. It is dead. Is that alive? Oh, it's alive. It's alive. Putrid glowing one. I don't like that. I don't like this at all. Oh, God! Oh! That was not its head. Shooting at its arm in a panic was not the right play. Oh! The mysterious stranger is never late, nor is he early. He arrived precisely when he means to. He only ever turns up when there is the greatest of stress and the greatest of pressure from the greatest enemies. He's not some, some crutch or free carry, okay? This man knows when he needs to be here. <laughs> he knows when he needs to be here. Oh my god, I appreciate that. Oh, we're going into a spooky, bombed-out, ghoul-filled basement. Then that's enough. Then we're done here. Uh, full of ghouls. Just when I thought I'd... You're taking this extremely well. Oh, I like his I like his scouter. His optics iPad looks amazing. It really is very good. Oh, look at that shot there. This gun's a game changer. It is. I feel like we're actually doing appropriate damage at this point. I don't like that noise. No! Don't drink the stinky water! You just watched a, a gangrenous feral ghoul die in that. Theodore Krupp. There he is. Taking his... Taking his clothes. Oh, don't drink the stinky water. God damn you. Okay, and here we are then. This is this is it. This is the place. What was it all for? Maybe there's a quest. Hundreds of years. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Our room's ruined. Hundreds of years. Hundreds. I can't fucking die. None of us can. I've spent hundreds of years trying to teach these creatures how to act human, and I've got nothing to show for it, except maybe my cousin James can spot the difference between a, a salad fork and a regular fork. I can't be sure he's not lucky. How the hell are we supposed to be the affluent socialite group family again if we're all monsters? This is pointless. I swear to God, I'm gonna bust an ample in his head if she doesn't listen to me. Just you watch. <laughs> and there you are. Story is explained of the mysterious mansion where we. The best part of Fallout. And let's break down some weapons, actually, before I forget. You know what? Let's head back. That's, that's enough. <laughs> okay, we gotta stop. You say we gotta stop. We gotta stop now. That's enough. That's enough for one day. Let's go back to uh, the drive-in and break everything down. And you know what? I'd say mission success. So we can level up one more time. Um, we can go for just like level four riflemen straight away if we want to. 80% more damage. They ignore 25% armor. They also have a slight chance of crippling a limb. Jesus. Um, obviously, medic is insane. Here, I'm gonna leave this one to the comment section. So if there is a particular perk you think I should be taking at this point, throw it at me. If you think going for that extra perk in Perception, followed by uh, going for Penetrator, by all means, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Just, you know, let me know. Let me know. Because a lot of people have been saying things like, oh, you're going to get, you're going to start to suffer with the damage and uh, DPS isn't good enough. You need a weapon that carries through you X, X point in the game. I didn't really think we were doing that bad. What I do think is this rifle is a game changer in that. I didn't think we were doing bad before, but I feel like we're doing... Really good now. Recover the adhesive from hallucinogenic ink. Um, I would, I would arguably say we feel a little overpowered at this point. <laughs> oh my god! You, just like you said, he only turns up when we desperately need him, and that is facing down a whole army of angry robots. Nice, great work. Where are you? Jesus, careful. Nobody kills the unkillable Wolfie. I mean, you can't, but... <laughs> Be gone! For justice! I couldn't remember to leave calling cards. That's on me. I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. I keep saying I want to leave it, and then I keep forgetting. It's such a bizarre thing to try and remember, though. 
just leave a calling card on this burnt out raider body. I feel like that's not, maybe not the right play. Maybe it is the right play. You strike fear in the hearts of, because look, these were raiders and, and uh, rust devils. So I guess it just picks two factions to spawn in to have a fight here. Maybe that's like a settlement specific thing. Maybe that happens in a lot of other settlements. What about Minutemen came outside to try and help? That's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Okay, so I'll do the usual uh, in between episode garbage. I'll pick them up fruit, the mute fruit. I'll pick the corn and the taters. I'll make some more adhesive. I will uh, break down all the stuff. And then tomorrow, I need a quest. We need a quest. We need some sort of direction where to go because we're kind of at this weird point now where we can carry on with the main quest, of course, but maybe we should do Freedom Trail. Maybe we should even go for uh, the rest of the Brotherhood of Steel and start learning about some of the different factions. That might not hurt at this point. And then make a decision on maybe who we want to ally with, where we want to ally with them. Etc. Etc. So, let me know. Don't forget about the perk, and we shall see you tomorrow. The Unstoppables. We still got to find a man-to-man -man and a mistress of mystery too.